today was my brother. Now I will try with it this. I like the food. I give it a 10. Judy bug, Judy bug, you, you, Judy bug. Hey there everyone, it's JP. It's Joanna. And today we are going to be doing another video to support local during the COVID-19 epidemic. As we have to stay home, we decided that we wanted to help support the restaurants that we know in our local community. Today we're gonna try T1 restaurant. It's located at the Gyro Beach on Lakeshore. Um, they just newly opened. Um, so they're Asian fusion restaurant, more specific, Taiwanese restaurant. So we have a few dishes here today that we're going to try. We're going to give us a little bit of feedback and reviews. And uh, if you are looking for a good place to eat, this is a good new place to try. So what's our first dish? So this is chicken karage. It's a deep fried chicken with uh, spices and green onion on top. So this is the type of chicken karage that I actually do like. When we were in Vancouver, and uh, Joanna was working at a sushi restaurant. They had karage. It was similar to this, and that was probably one of my favorite. Uh, they don't have the bones. It has a nice light covering, coating, seasoning is good. I like that they put green onions on top of it too, so that really hits home. I've had a lot of chicken karage, and I would give this one probably an eight out of 10. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very good. Yep. Um, if it actually came with maybe a chipotle dipping sauce, like a, a spicy mayo or something like that, that would be probably even better. I don't know if it normally comes with that in the restaurant. Uh, I didn't ask for it, so uh, you could probably get some if you're there. Uh, if there was a, a chipotle dipping sauce kind of a thing, then that would make this even better. So next one, we're gonna try the braised pork rice lu rou fan. So this is a very traditional Taiwanese food, and it's probably one of my favorites. So it's like minced sweet pork on rice? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and then is this sauce for it or is this for a different one? That's for the ramen. That's for the ramen. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's dig in. If you like um, teriyaki chicken or beef kind of style dishes, then you're going to love like this. It's nice to give half an egg in here as well. And I think this is the smaller version. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you want the full bowl, you can get the full bowl. We just got sample dishes so that we can try these out and give you a little bit of a feedback. White rice is nice. It's cooked well. Uh, probably cooked with a, a rice cooker, like an actual one, not just on the pot, obviously. And it um, looks like they have a pickled radish in here. Mm -hmm. Probably pickled radish. So good flavors. Uh, what, uh, what rating would you give it? 8.5. 8.5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about right. I give it an 8.5 as well. They definitely altered a little bit for Western people's yeah. taste. Yeah, very, very good. If you're if you're looking for something for lunch, this would be a good meal to have. You know how to cook their rice, right? Yeah, really important for having good rice, not too overcooked and not too hard. So this, is, this is a good one. Yeah, it's um, the round rice, so it's more sticky. The egg is cooked perfectly as well. It's not runny. Uh, depending on how you like it, obviously you'll want to ask for it to cook different ways. But we had it cooked hard, so th this was good. Professional. So this is the spicy beef ramen. Oh, big chunks of uh, beef. Wow. It's good serving. And that's a uh, chili oil. Yeah. Nice. Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead. Mmm. Mmm. The beef is so good. Mm hmm So tender. Yeah. No, it's really good. Mm hmm The meat chunks are great. They've been, it's like they've been stewed for a really long time. Super tender. Falls apart in your mouth. The noodle is really good as well. It's uh, got a really nice chew. It's a good noodle. Mm -hmm. the, the chili oil is perfect amount of spice. Um, not really spicy at all. If you're if you like spice, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, this is this is a good ramen. 
The noodles to me could be a little bit more of the chewy side, um, but it is it's very good. I'd probably give this a seven out of 10 as far as the ramens that I've tried have gone. Good flavor. There's cilantro in this, so I personally love cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, make sure to ask them not to put it in. But I love that flavor in there with the green onion and the chili oil with the cilantro. It just it's a perfect combination for me. If the noodles were a little bit more chewy, then I would probably give it a 8.5 out of 10. But uh, just be because of that, I, I like my chewy new uh, ramen noodles. So seven for me, but everything else is great. The meat is amazing. So the last item we have here is a grilled chicken rice bowl. And as you can see, it has vegetables, egg, and grilled rice, uh, chicken skewers on rice. It looks like there's a little bit of a sweet sauce in there. So this is probably a good lunch style food option. So we're just gonna take the chicken off of the skewer. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna try the chicken first. Let's try the rice first. Mm. Perfectly cooked. It's moist. Huh. <laughs> Speak moistly to me. Um, this is the chicken is moist, uh, as Trudeau would say, uh, and the the rice looks like has a good consistency. Again, with the other rice bowl, it was very good rice. So let's try this. This is really good. Mm. I think this is my favorite so far. Yeah, this is really good. It's kind of like the teriyaki sauce, mm -hmm. similar to that on the rice. Yeah. And uh, it does come with the egg and the vegetables and the pickled vegetable. So you have some fresh crispiness in there as well. There are lots of uh, ramen and rice options in their store. Also lots of appetizers. Um, please go give it a try. Definitely good food. Kudos to them, especially for a new place opening up. Usually their menu has to be tweaked to get food items to, to taste properly over time after feedback. Uh, this, this noodle bowl is really good. I would probably have this on a regular basis if I had to go get lunch outside. And my personal opinion, because I am I like the, my sauces, I could probably have a little bit more sauce on the rice bowl. Um, just maybe a little bit more on there because the rice really sucks it up. So overall, I would rate this one uh, 8.5 out of 10. It, it was, it, this is my, probably my favorite out of, out of the meals so far. Me too. Yeah. So good job, T1. Mm -hmm. So if you want to support local and you want to go visit T1, we're going to put the information of their business on this video and also in the description so you can go reach out to them, take a look at their menu as well. Remember during this time to support local if you can do delivery or stay at least far away from each other when you are doing a pickup. Dessert time! Dessert time! So uh, on my way to T1, I stopped by Circle K. Circle K, if you don't know, used to be the Max and convenience stores. Now they have a lot of coupons that they offer to people. So if you go to circlek.com forward slash coupons, put in your phone number in there, they'll send you a text with coupon codes. Often they're giving a lot of stuff for free. So today we got our Kit Kat ice cream bars from them. So we're gonna open up one of them here. Oh, that's really good. I actually like this more than the real Kit Kats. Yeah. It's it's really good. And it has really nice crunch on it on the outside, the chocolate mm. and the, the the two different vanilla and chocolate ice creams inside is really good. Oh wow. I didn't expect this actually. No, I didn't either. Uh, and so I, I had actually gone a couple of days ago to a different Circle K to try and find one of these. They didn't have the shipment, so I couldn't get it. So today this was I found this bar at the Gordon and KLO Circle K. So they had these in their in their fridge, thankfully. So I was able to get two of them today. And um, this was using their coupons. So they actually, we each got to have one and each of them was for free. So depending what your month it is, you might get different coupons, but definitely check them out, circlek.com forward slash coupons. This is not sponsored whatsoever. It's just letting you guys know that if you want to check them out, they're, uh, they're really good coupons that they're having uh, right now, especially during the epidemic trying to get people to come in so they're offering a lot more promotions. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video and you like the food reviews, if you like finding out some tips like getting free stuff, 
then please remember to like and subscribe to the channel so that you can see us in our next videos. Let us know in the comment section down below what kind of food you want us to try and we'll do our best to accommodate. Thank you very much. Again, this is JP and Joanna from the Letnick Estates Group and remember, support local. We'll see you on the next video. For Luna. Oh, for Luna. It's so good. For Luna. Let's buy more. Let's buy more. <laughs>